everybody, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling. So if you're new to my videos, I do hair, I specialize and I educate um, on hair extensions on a method I created called Natural Beaded Rose. Um, so I want to start this video by telling you a little bit about my story, a little bit of my love and my passion for hair, color, extensions, and that whole bit. Um, I've been doing hair now for about, going on 12 years. Um, I absolutely love it and I my own hair texture is very very fine and so I have always loved girls with just amazing long I call it Victoria's Secret hair and just thought I would never have the ability to have that great hair and then I went it to went to hair school and started experimenting with color and things like that and I thought you know I want long hair so my hair, if you have fine hair, you can maybe relate. Your hair doesn't grow very well in the front and it just doesn't grow in general very well. It kind of breaks off before you get it to the point where it looks really long and nice. So really my only option was hair extensions. So right after I finished hair school, I started um, trying every and any type of extensions I could get my hands on. Um, I certified in probably eight different methods and just kind of always wanted to find out the best way for my own benefit for my own hair because I love hair and I love long hair. The first type of extension I tried were a, a single bonded method um, and I found I probably had you know 200 of them all over my head I left feeling like I had this weird uh, extension mullet I call it <laughs> and so I felt like they didn't blend I didn't like the placement I felt like they were all over my hairline so it was hard for me to pull my hair up um, I also felt like they were really damaging because there was probably about 200 single uh, strand extensions in there and overall just didn't have a very good experience but I thought you know there's got to be a better way to do extensions and that's where I started doing different trainings and tried to figure out the best method out there so I'm going to tell you based on my experience what I found out about hair extensions so with hair extensions and everyone's like have you tried this one and this one and this one there's there's probably a million different methods right so with extensions in my experience I find that there's single bonded um, they're single beaded there's single shrinky and then there there's different types of tab or tapen um, and tab or tapens are usually about an inch wide some of them are a little bit wider the other type of extensions there are is track extensions or row extensions um, typically row or track extensions are done with a braid or a bead now let's go back to the single strand extensions with single strand extensions they're usually done with a shrinky, which is usually a plastic tube. They're done with a linky, which is usually cut some kind of a metal tube, or they're done with some kind of glue. Now, I don't care if you roll the glue, if you dip the glue, or if it comes pre-bonded, it's glue and it's a single. So through my experience with hair extensions, some of the problems that I found with extensions is with having fine hair, we want really, really full hair. Um, we want that Victoria's Secret magazine hair. So you have to put so much amount of hair back into your hair to look like that, which means you're attaching the extensions to more areas of the head. And with the single bonded extensions, what I found is you have to put so many of those in to give you that nice fullness. Um, with the tab or the tapins, what I found is they were just kind of peeling away or ripping the hair out. Um, same with the single bonded ones. If you don't have enough hair bonded in each single, it tends to pull on the hair and rip the hair, and it's just really hard on your hair. Um, the braided ones, so let's go back to the rows or the tracks. So the braided ones, it's braided around your hairline and then the hair is sewn onto that. What I didn't like about those ones is I felt like they were so heavy and if you've tried those before I just felt like the extension itself never dried. I would wash my hair and you know two days later I'm asking is, is it dry? <laughs> so and the, and the other thing I noticed is it, it tends to cause a little bit more breakage where, where it's braided and I felt like I don't know I just felt like they were heavy and I didn't love them. The other type of extension that I've tried that's on a row is it's a beaded kind but there's no string involved so it's basically just a, a sheet of hair beaded onto your real hair and there's nothing really in there to hold it in and the problem I found with those is those tend to slip out. Finally the last type I've tried is a method similar to a micro beading method with string and beads and you sew the hair on. Um, I found that that holds on better but I felt like you still had to bead in or sew in about four or five tracks to give you this nice full hair. So those are kind of some of the, some of the problems I face with all the different types of extensions that I have tried. So my conclusion with all hair extension types is the less areas that you can have them attached to your actual real hair, the better on your hair it's gonna be. So how I created natural beaded rows through trial and error and through my own experiences, 
I just wanted to really simplify it, but give my clients the least amount of damage and the best results. Um, so I kind of started experimenting with different types of hair um, and different sizes of beads to find out what held in the hair the best. Um, and how I do it, I basically bead in a track of extensions with a string. This keeps it from slipping. Um, I use bigger beads and put more hair in each bead. And then what I do is I actually stack more pieces of hair on each row. This gives me the leverage that I need to kind of create less rows. On my own hair, I only have one and a half tracks in. And most of my clients, if you look in my gallery or you look at some of my work, the most I will do even on a short hair client is two and a half rows. I personally think with extensions, we're overdoing it. We're putting, you know, six different mini rows or we're just kind of putting too many in the hair in general. And even though there's not a lot of hair in each row, I still find the less areas that you attach it to the hair, the less damaging it's gonna be. So like again, with Natural Beauty Rose, I use bigger beads, bigger section of hair, I use a string to hold it in better. I attach um, more hair together to give you that full look. So that's kind of some of the problems and the solutions that I have created with Natural Beauty Rose. And through my training, I've really, really wanted to uh, simplify it. Like I said, I do one, two, or two and a half. Another problem that I wanna share with you guys really quick is color and blending. I think that an important part of good extensions starts with a good color and a good cut. It absolutely has to be a package deal or in my opinion, I love the idea of a one-stop shop. I wanna educate my girls on not only how to put the extensions in, cause you can go learn the application of any extensions anywhere. I wanna show you the art of blending natural, seamless color. So if you've seen some of my work and you like how my colors flow, how they're seamless, I kinda of branded myself with just a really natural, soft look, kinda of that Victoria's Secret hair that we all love. So with color, one of the problems that I faced is with all different types of extension hair, and I have used everything that I could get my hands on, I've come to the conclusion also that hair fades, no matter what type or brand, Remy, Virgin, Yaki, whatever it is, it all fades out. And I'm kind of tired of everybody calling their faded out extensions ombre. <laughs> so let's kind of maintain the color in our extensions. One of the things that I do for my clients to get them to keep their hair a little bit longer, to last a little bit longer, um, let's say for example with blondes, a lot of them will buy that really pretty mixed blonde if you do extensions or if you had extensions, you kind of know it's, it's just a really pretty beigey blonde and a white blonde. But what happens is six weeks goes by and your clients are going, what happened? It looks kind of brassy. Well, even my caramely browns or my light browns they always fade out so it's important to maintain your extension clients color so I even with mine I have probably like a number I'd say like a number 10 or a number 8 caramely blonde mixed in and there's a fine line between caramel and brassy and when it fades brassy I like to kind of randomly pick pieces out and tone them with just maybe like a, oh I'd say like a level 8 to just give it some dimension so with extensions I feel that it's important to maintain the color for your clients if they're coming in to have their extensions moved up, you need to tweak the color in their hair extensions as well to give them a really good result. I wanna go back to one more problem that I face with all types of extensions is placement. Us girls with fine hair, we really don't have a ton of hair around our face. And so with extensions, my goal was I wanted my clients to be able to pull their hair back and have the wind blow and have them still cover. So I kinda of tweaked the placement and find that there's different ways to cut into it to make it blend and look natural so that you can't see the extensions so they're more wearable so that they can pull their hair up and like again it's really simple and systematized so if you're a stylist what I need you to do below this video there's gonna be two big buttons I need you to click on the I'm a stylist button and come train with me and have the chance to buy my natural beauty bro training video as well as how I blend and really cut into extensions and make them look really natural if you're not a hairstylist and you're just interested in being one of my clients I'm always accepting new clients so go to DKW styling.com check out my gallery my blog and click on my contact page to get a hold of me and to become one of my clients all right you guys thanks for tuning into this video i hope it helps i hope you're interested i hope you want to train with me and further your education as a hairstylist to really uh, specialize have a niche and increase your profits as a stylist all right you guys we'll see you next time